So here we go. In the first video, I've showed you how to add all your alt text. That that's pretty much how this plugin began was was figuring out how to do all the add all the missing alt text. So we've gone through that, and since then we've added these up here. We've added some new stuff. Okay, we've added a contrast checker here. So you basically just type in your color. You type it in a couple of different ways. And then what it'll do is it'll allow you to see what the background is. So if you've got a gray background with white text, it'll show you. If you have a white background with the with the gray text, it'll it'll show you. And then it'll tell you whether you're compliant or not. This this right here is is AAA, level AAA compliant. So that's a very, very useful tool. You just get a color picker and you'll be able to pick whatever colors you want, place them in here. It'll give you an example and it'll tell you whether you're compliant or not. Very useful. Okay, we also added an ADA checklist. This this came straight from the, the WCAG WCAG guidelines 2.1. We went through it line by line and we just tried to simplify it. We tried to explain it in simpler terms. So you've got that aspect of this and you've also got the fact that you can keep track of where you're compliant. More importantly, you're keeping track of where you're not compliant. So we got alt text, if we're all compliant there, if you've got closed captions and audio descriptions, you're compliant there, you'll save it, come back at another time, or if you have, you know, if you have a Trello or some sort of checklist that you've got your team working on one by one, they can come in and just check them off. So yeah, compliant there, okay, I did this one, and then we're gonna go ahead and save changes. So everybody knows everybody's on the same page. And this really helps in the sense of making a clear picture for you and your team of what you're doing well and what you need to work on. So that, that's very useful. So speaking of working on, we've also added this amazing tool from the Khan University. It's an accessibility testing tool. So you just you know, come standard like this, you, you uh, turn it on, hit save changes, and then basically you just go to a front end of your site and it adds this little piece of CSS down here. You click it and a menu pops up and this is your testing tool and this is amazing. Okay, you just go right down the list. You do headings. It shows you where all your headings are. And then if you come over here to the right side and you highlight this, that shows you you see when I'm hovering over it, it's highlighting the box to the left. That's telling me that's where the problem is. And if you click it, it tells you this. This is an H4. It's out of place. So if you come down to the next one, I'm not really sure where that is. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. That's an H. They're all H4s. And it shouldn't be like that. Okay. So then you have contrast checker. Again, this is, you know, the you've got the manual contrast checker on the back, and then you got the front end contrast checker here. And this tells me uh, the very first one is telling me it's this up here. It's my numbers. What's really cool about this tool is it actually will suggest a color that brings me in the proper contrast ratio and allow you to preview it. I think I don't think that's that one. Then you got link text. This will tell you whether link text are unclear or not. Now again, you know this is just like any other tool. It's it's got a, it's got its false positives and it and it's I won't say false negatives, but you know it won't show you everything. So it comes up here. Link text. It's not even a link here. These here need need something. That's our Facebook links and stuff. So it'll come through and do your labels, do your image alt tag. It'll tell you these two images here do not have alt tags, but it, but it's labeled decorative. So I guess they don't need an alt tag. So there you go. Okay, it also point out landmarks. Now it's pointing out also this menu here. Obviously, you wouldn't need to worry about that. Um, and a really cool thing that they do now is a screen reader checker this allows you to to scroll over stuff and tells you what the screen reader would read over here in the box um 
just from knowing i know these don't have a title title attribute so this there's no text for this so i need to add that for these videos we come down here and you see this text everything is included so that's really good so that's good there so this is an awesome awesome tool and it's completely completely free so and then we added another another tab up here resources this is just some general resources that'll help you. You got your WCAG 2.1 guidelines, your actual guidelines from the W3C. You got an accessibility statement generator. This is amazing. This is also from the W3C. This, this allows you to just answer a few questions and um, it, it gives you a PDF. And then you can take that PDF and add it to your footer or wherever you want on your site. And now that's your accessibility statement. And this helps an end user who's having a difficulty with your site, this helps them to, you know, to, to get in contact with the proper person to to explain the problem that they're having. So, and it gives you an opportunity to to correct it. So, before it goes any farther, goes any further, you know that that's key. Another great tool out there, completely free. We have nothing to do with this plugin, the UserWay plugin. This one here is is pretty awesome. I'm just gonna gonna go ahead and open up an in incognito here just so we don't see the other tools. So this is the user way plugin down here, a little piece of CSS right here. Also, you click it and this gives you a menu. This allows you to do things like make your cursor bigger. I mean you can even do go so big to where you see the line right there. It allows you to uh, add contrast or, or to change your contrast. It allows you to, to make your text bigger, smaller, whatever you want. Desaturate. Um, it gives you, you know, highlight all the links easier for them to navigate. So this tool is super, super useful. And again, it's completely free. I think they require your, your email, but other than that, it's completely free. So that that's very useful. Then we give you another link here. This is from WordPress.org. This is great info. They, they actually give you some good, good info. And then here is just the actual law for Section 508, explaining, showing the actual law signed in into law last year, 2018, towards the end of the year, um, just explaining who has to be compliant. So that's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate it. Um, just remember... It's up to us. WordPress runs over a third of the internet. It's not, it's not up to Matt Mullenweg or to anybody else or WordPress to, to make this the internet accessible. It's up to us, the ones who do it. So remember, one site at a time. We can do it. I appreciate you. Have a good one.